What's up everyone, SAG here, and today I'm actually going to be going over a test server game that I had, or a few games rather, and uh, as we all know the test server is closed for now so you can't play it anymore, but I was able to capture this a little bit before, I've, I've had it on the backlog for a little bit now, but uh, it's finally time to get around to it, and that's messing around with the push mechanic in the test server so of course you got eggplant iguana and now the the new wolverine that actually allows you to do more damage with your iguanas and then of course panther with uh, eggplant is really cool too so i decide to get a nice game going here as you can see we're turn six level three camel uh that that's pretty pretty nutty uh, there was a little story that I would like to say before we get started. It's actually related to pushing. And it all started 25 years ago when when my mother pushed me out of her hoo-ha. That, that was it. That was the story. Anyways, we... I mean, it was related. You can't say that it wasn't. She she pushed out a little uh, saglet. And, and here I am now today talking to you about this video. And that's how that wraps in together. So we do end up getting a leech here. I I wanted to like maybe frog swap it. There, there's a lot of times where uh, I feel like, you know, I, I could be able to frog swap a big leech onto a, an iguana or wolverine, whatever I get. And I feel like that's a pretty good idea. The only problem is that you actually have to get the frog, which I failed to do on probably 75% of all occasions. But this run is still looking really, really good. I mean, we're, we're going to be able to have at least a big leech. Um, and then, of course, Iguana. These games are sped up a little bit because some of these uh, rounds actually take so long to go through because there's so much pushing happening. Not only from my side, but sometimes the other side as well. I'm going to forego on the panther, the panther for now. Because I feel like I need to really find that frog or maybe an iguana. Maybe we level up into a wolverine. I'm looking for a decent bit here and, and panther's not really on the menu. Uh, weakness is also really, really good with a team. If, if you can get weakness, you're almost, you know, doubling your damage. For a normal iguana anyways. If you have the wolverine, then you're only, you know, one and a half times. But damage is damage. Especially with weakness, you get to remove... Um, certain, what's it called, equipment and everything. You could use Toad as well. Toad might be better since you're triggering so many hits. I actually still don't quite understand how the Iguana push mechanic exactly works. And and that'll make a lot more sense if, if you really look at what's happening in some of these games. Sometimes it'll be like, oh, uh, we push around a bunch, but the iguana doesn't actually like do the proper amount of damage. I don't know. I, I've been looking back through some of these rounds here, and they, they, they didn't quite add up. Another thing that really sucks with this build is if they do have something like bat that can get rid of all of your eggplants before they go off. That That's a true, that's a real problem that happens. I can't really have him with flea or micro, but bat, bat is a really big one, especially if they have a high attack bat. So your units definitely need to have high attack. But then again, even even if you do have high attack, your iguana just doesn't always work. I missed that chocolate there because I, I forgot that cow doesn't stalk. Playing on the test server, between the test and the live server, I, I always get mixed up with a lot of what mechanics are going on. So in this game, I, I really wanted to get like a um, an all you know all roundabout team. So I wanted a Wolverine, I wanted a Panther, I wanted a Toad, and probably double Iguana. Double Iguana probably seems like one of the the best things you can do here. We actually lose to this team, the full Snipe team, super strong there for turn 12. Uh, we are gonna be able to get our level two Wolverine here. Trying to get a level 3 one as, as quickly as I can. I, I could get lucky. One roll. When I get another roll. We have an eggplant in the shop as well. Um, never really found that frog, as you can see. 
You can just throw a Lynx in here because it actually works with the Wolverine. I like to be able to just throw in any random snipe pet, and it's actually pretty decent if you already have Wolverine. Woodpecker is one of the really big ones, especially if you can get it to, to level 2. And summon team stand, zero chance. Absolutely zero chance if you have the Iguana next to the Wolverine. Because right now it's doing um, 3 from the Iguana and 6, so 9 damage for every summon or every push. Which is really, really good stuff. I did want to use Hyena in, in some of these games, but you know what? Shuffling does not equal pushing, which is a is a very, very sad thing. I was really hoping that a level 2 Hyena could go crazy. I think in that run, actually, against Scooty, um, my Iguana doesn't, like, trigger damage properly. And maybe because it's already dead, but most snipers do their damage anyways after they die, so it's a, it's a little weird. Uh, there's another round that I think, uh, not in this game, because I think this is going to be the last round, that I want to show you that's um, a little weird. We do actually win that game, which is very nice. I get my level 3 Wolverine, um, as well as a pretty nice team, Toad, Panther, Huge Leech. And then we're going to jump into the second game here where I wanted to do a little bit more symmetry, we'll say. I wanted to be able to get like three iguanas, so like first, middle, last, and then two wolverines in the middle. I thought that would have been really, really cool. So this is my best attempt at trying to get that. It's really hard to find all the wolverines, though. It, it's it's tough getting, you know, a bunch of tier sixes, and since e, uh, alpaca doesn't work that way anymore, you... Um, it's much harder to get up just like mass level threes everywhere but that's fine we go with a double clownfish start here uh, a, a classic i'll say can't wait till it's not a classic anymore i swear clownfish is going to get changed to plus one plus one and i think that would be fair um considering how much it's dominated everything for you know like nearly the past year because look at me i'm just gonna ooh, uh, ooh, more clownfish how about that <laughs> two, two level twos or three level twos and then boom into a level three yeah this game is sped up as well these rounds some of these rounds go crazy um that's for sure at least when you're you're fighting them anyways but now since we have such a large clownfish we're pretty free to to look for iguanas to look for wolverine uh, to look for eggplant. That's kind of all we're, we're looking for here. Do find another one. Get the eggplant immediately on this bad boy. He needs it. No no funny eggplant emojis in chat. We're, we're serious. This is serious eggplant time. Uh, I love the build when you run up against somebody who has a very specific order. Because you completely ruin their team. It's no question. Unless, unless it's a snipe type of build and they have higher attack than your iguanas, then you're, you're kind of just fucked. And uh, that's the way the cookie crumbles. So we got double iguana here, double clownfish. We really need to find the wolverines as soon as we can because we're doing peanut damage here. Two damage per iguana, so four damage all together. And we only have, what, three eggplants? Three times... 2 times 2 is like 12. That's 12 damage. That's literally nothing. 12 damage on turn 12 makes me sick. Um, so yeah, we, we got to find it. I did not freeze the eggplant because we had a blobfish in our mitts trying to get this pill. And then, of course, chocolate. Uh, you know, as much as I would like more eggplants, I really need to find the, the wolverine. That's when... That's when the build really ties in together. So it's kind of weird, like, running uh, iguanas for so long up until you get it. But as soon as you are able to slap that wolverine in, your, your build just changes. Completely changes. I hadn't run cat uh, since they changed it, so it was, a, it was a little weird running it there. Uh, but, I mean... Cat with two triggers still works fine. Actually, I don't know if it has two or three. Uh, that's fine. It probably is somewhere around there. And again, another build that requires uh, positioning. Absolutely decimated. 
So the second game, we actually do pretty well. Like, we we keep tying a lot. We lost a lot of the early rounds, but we finally have the Wolverine, and now we're going to be able to do some, some real damage. We got four eggplants. We can get the fifth next turn. And now, really, all I want to find is more Wolverines, more Iguanas. Maybe a little bit more stats, but... I can, I can probably do without. We could actually potentially swap someone's tiger to give them double effects on it. I don't know if, I don't think that happened there, but it could have, and that frightens me. There's a lot of weird interactions that happen when you're doing this. Like you, stuff that you would never even expect to happen will happen. Uh, beautiful here, the, nothing that they can do. Summons against Iguana? You're hilarious. Turn 16, 8 wins. Our, our team honestly is not strong at all, but we're on the test server. There's not like anyone going crazy or anything. We pick up another Iguana and we just cannot find any more Wolverines. It is so unfortunate. And it's probably better... I feel like it's better to have multiple Iguanas with Wolverine uh, oh, and it was so delicious destroying that guy. It's better to have multiple iguanas with Wolverine than I feel like to have um, more pushing, if if that makes sense. The more damage you do with iguanas, the better. I think it's it's better the the higher damage you do rather than the amount of hits that you get. Uh, in this team, we push the hoopo bird all the way to the back of the bus, and there's nothing. Uh, that he can do we absolutely counter his team now coming into this third game this was a this was a very big run that I did not understand so my iguana has higher attack than everything but it did not do or it only did one snipe if, if you watch that again it only did one snipe once against that uh, woodpecker, which didn't make any sense at all. There was a bunch of pushing that happened, but somehow Iguana only hit once? I, I don't understand. If, if you understand that, please let me know. Um, and this game was insane. As you can see, we're, we're starting on turn 18, which is a pretty, pretty late turn to, to start showing you something on, but it, it makes sense here in a minute. So we had really good scaling, so most of our stuff was really, really big. As you can see, we already had a huge iguana, huge panther, pretty decent-sized uh, wolverine and parrot. It was kind of unfortunate because wolverine could only be used so much. It could only really be used with the iguana. I didn't have anything else for it. Um, I was using the dragonfly for scaling and then a lot of pushing with, of course, Panther and Parrot. So we kind of get to see the two sides. That second game was uh, more Iguanas with Wolverine, and now this game is way more pushes. And as you can see, we're here at turn 20 on nine wins, and more pushing does not really seem to, to be the answer. Again here, um, I feel like Iguana didn't, didn't do or didn't push, or sorry, didn't do the damage for how many pushes that happened. I'm just, I'm just not sure if I'm, if I'm seeing that right. Because it has incredibly high attack. There's nobody else that has over 40 attack on, on any of these teams that we've seen so far. Um, yet sometimes it, it's weird. Here's, here's a horrible example. The bat tiger completely got rid of all of my eggplants. Um, or not all of them, the only one it didn't get rid of was my Iguana. Um, yet we were still able to beat him, or sorry, not beat him, we were still able to tie, thankfully, because of our huge stats. But that Bat Tiger completely countered us. If we had any lower attack, we probably would have just straight up lost, which is kind of crazy for how low his stats were. And then we get to see a Blowfish Hedgehog team with Toad. Normally you don't stand a chance against these, uh, but there's so much so much moving uh, parts, so many stats flying around, so many uh, rocks 
that we were actually able to tie again, which is really bad, really, really bad. I don't really wanna be tying on turn 23. <laughs> and I was looking for the iguana for so long, but I didn't wanna get him in because I thought it would be better just to keep the extra pushing from Lynx. However, that is not how things always go. And we see a absolutely massive team here and there's nothing we can do against them. He's just too fat for us. But really, really fun games. Let me know what the fuck is up with eggplants and iguana pushing. But that'll do it for me. Thank you so much for watching. Politely smack that like button's ass on your way out. And you know what? Have a wonderful day.